Chapter 44 King John's World According to many modern historians, King John of England was a great king, one of England's best. When some of us went to school, we had a different story taught us. The younger brother of Richard the Lionhearted, John was seen as a knave, as a disloyal brother, and as a king who lost much of England's overseas realms to France. Why then do historians today see John as a great man? Well, the reason is a strange one. John's reign saw the major development of a record-keeping bureaucracy. It was the birth of government red tape, and to all too many scholars, this means efficiency. One business firm recently went into bankruptcy, and its record-keeping was a model of efficiency, according to the court. But its paper files did not make it a success, however. King John's problem was himself. As Solomon says, The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. Proverbs 12:15. John kept good records, but he had trouble with people, because John's way was always right in his own eyes, and he despised wise counsel. Today we live in a bookkeeping world where record-keeping is demanded by federal and state governments of everybody. To be a farmer means being also a bookkeeper for civil authorities, and state and federal agencies have mountains of data banks and records. We are surrounded by millions of King Johns in the uncivil civil service, and we have intellectuals whose answer to problems is the creation of another record-keeping agency. Wisdom has become a data bank instead of godliness and common sense. How will it end? King John had troubles, and Solomon says, A companion of fools shall be destroyed. Proverbs 13.20 How much more so will the fool be brought to judgment? In brief, salvation is not by computers and data banks, and only fools will think so. It is from the Lord and it results in sound faith, good character, and godly works, not a file of statistics and records.